Bemid bar Numbers 5. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Command at the children of Yasharael that they put out of the camp every leper and everyone that has an issue and whosoever is defiled by the dead, both male and female, shall ye put out. Without the camp shall ye put them, that they defile not at their camps in the midst whereof I dwell. And the children of Yasharael did so, and put them out without the camp. As Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, so did the children of Yasharael. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, when a man or woman shall commit any sin that men commit, to do a trespass against Yahuwah, and that person be guilty, then they shall confess at their sin which they have done, and he shall recompense at his trespass with the principle thereof, and add unto it the fifth part thereof, and give it unto him against whom he has trespassed. But if the man have no kinsman to recompense the trespass unto, let the trespass be recompensed unto Yahuwah, even to the priest, beside the ram of the atonement, whereby an atonement shall be made for him. And every offering of all the holy things of the children of Yashadael, which they bring unto the priest, shall be his. And every man's et hallowed things shall be his. Whatsoever any man gives the priest, it shall be his. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yashadael, and say unto them, If any man's woman go aside, and commit a trespass against him, and a man lie with her carnally, and it be hid from the eyes of her man, and be kept close, and she be defiled, and there be no witness against her, neither she be taken with the manner, and the ruach of jealousy come upon him, and he be jealous of that his woman, and she be defiled. Or if the ruach of jealousy come upon him, and he be jealous of at his woman, and she be not defiled, then shall the man bring at his woman unto the priest, and he shall bring at her offering for her, the tenth part of an ephah of barley meal, he shall pour no oil upon it, nor put frankincense thereon, for it is an offering of jealousy, an offering of memorial, bringing iniquity to remembrance. And the priest shall bring her near, and set her before Yahuwah. And the priest shall take holy water in an earthen vessel, and of the dust that is in the floor of the tabernacle, the priest shall take and put it into the water. And the priest shall set at the woman before Yahuwah and uncover at the woman's head and put at the offering of memorial in her hands, which is the jealousy offering. And the priest shall have in his hand the bitter water that causes the curse. And the priest shall charge her by an oath and say unto the woman, If no man have lain with you, and if ye have not gone aside to uncleanness with another instead of your man, be free from this bitter water that causes the curse. But at if you have gone aside, to another instead of your man, and if you be defiled, and some man have lain at with you beside your man, then the priest shall charge at the woman with an oath of cursing, and the priest shall say unto the woman, Yahuwah make you a curse, and an oath among your people, when Yahuwah makes at your thigh to rot and at your belly to swell. 
and this water that causes the curse shall go into your bowels to make your belly to swell and your thigh to rot. And the woman shall say, Amon, Amon. And the priest shall write at these curses in a sefer, and he shall blot them out with the bitter water. And he shall cause at the woman to drink at the bitter water that causes the curse. And the water that causes the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. Then the priest shall take the jealousy offering out of the woman's hand at and shall wave at the offering before Yahuwah and offer it upon the altar. And the priest shall take a handful of the offering, even at the memorial thereof, and burn it upon the altar, and afterwards shall cause at the woman to drink the water. And when he has made her to drink at the water, then it shall come to pass that, if she be defiled and have done trespass against her man, that the water that causes the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. And her belly shall swell, and her thigh shall rot. And the woman shall be a curse among her people. And if the woman be not defiled, but be clean, then she shall be free, and shall conceive seed. This is the Torah of jealousies. When a woman goes aside to another instead of her man and is defiled. Or when the ruach of jealousy comes upon him and he be jealous over at his woman and she set at the woman before, rather, and shall set at the woman before Yahuwah and the priest shall execute upon her at all this Torah. Then shall the man be guiltless from iniquity and this woman shall bear at her iniquity.